Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, one other thing about Windows 10. What will be the timeline, official timeline for 2025 on uh, what's going to happen with, of course, the last year uh, and not even a full year. So uh, the first thing that you will probably see is a bunch of pop-ups. Microsoft will be absolutely displaying new pop-ups to make sure that we move on to Windows 11, that we buy a new PC or tell us that we need to check if we're compatible and there's something new. That will be happening from time to time. Some people already see some of those. There were some this year also. Um, in the timeline, we also look at updates. So in Windows updates, we have the Patch Tuesday security updates and we have the release previews that are bug fixes at the end of the month. So these will eventually stop being sent out. So sometime, I expect sometime in the first six months and from up, up to June, um, we will probably have maybe, um, you know, update previews for bug fixes for like the first few months of the year until maybe May or June. But at some point, they will focus on just security updates like they usually do on most systems that have an operating system or a bill number that is about to expire. So um, the bug fixes will stop at some point before, I expect before June, this will happen. And after that, it'll be just the security updates until the end, which is the last security update in October. So October means that if you look at the calendars for 2025, the last batch Tuesday in October is the uh, eight, the uh, eight, the 14th of October. Sorry, uh, Tuesday here. So 14th of October is yep, last batch Tuesday security update. From then on, if you do keep using Windows 10 without anything else. It's not immediately going to be insecure, but over months of use without the security patches, uh, it will become unsecure more and more. So, yeah, moving on to some other um, possibility of getting updates is good. What we'll know is that at some point in the second half of 2025, there will be a pop-up that will tell us, okay, here's the deal. This system is actually going to be end of support in October, but here we offer a $30 extension if you wish to um, get more updates on this system. So at this point, you will have, of course, a choice and there will be an explanation on how to do this and extend that for $30. You'll have one more year of Windows 10 that will be going up to apparently November of 2025. And that um, will, from what we see, Microsoft will only give one year. Um, it's not impossible that Microsoft would, you know, think about giving more, but for now they're giving just one year. There will be, of course, another option. If you don't want to pay Microsoft, there's a company called Zero Patch. And then what's interesting is if you want to extend Windows 10 longer, Zero Patch is actually going to give you more than one year. They will go on for quite a while until it is not a um, you know a service that is useful or is um, um, going to be um, racking enough enough money. And so, Zero Patch will probably continue patching Windows 10 for many years. So, if you want an option that gives you more than one year. Zero patch is that option. We'll all check that out as we get there in a late in the second half of Windows 10. So these are going to be pretty much the timeline. Don't expect new features. I think this is pretty much over in Windows 10. The 2025 will just be, um, you know, the updates and that's it. No new features really. They've pretty much done the new features here in 2024. So that will be the timeline of what's happening. And of course, um, 
you'll have to weigh your options at some point as to what to do. Continue and pay for updates or move on to something else. Or you could go unsupported if it still works, including in with, you know, 25 H2 on Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.